Hello guys, my name is Rogelio, ang yung tropang vlogger. In this video, I'm gonna share with you things you need to know before learning how to bunny hop. If you like this kind of content, I would like you to hit the subscribe and bell button so that you won't miss my future video. This would be the first video on the video series about um, how to bunny hop. It consists of probably four or more videos that will teach you different ways how to bunny hop. Bunny hop is a bike technique where you're going to lift or jump your bike without the use of a kicker or a ramp. This is one of the coolest techniques that you need to learn on your mountain biking career. This opens up a lot of opportunities that allows you to hop almost anything like sidewalks, manholes, and others. There are two main types of bunny hops, mainly American bunny hop and the English bunny hop, like this and this. English bunny hop is a technique where both of your wheels are lifted at the same time. This technique is easier to learn as I learned this accidentally and also my stepping stone to jumping. American Bunny Hop is a technique where you need to lift the front wheel first before lifting the back wheel. This technique is much more complex to learn and master. Both techniques are effective in different ways. They also have different variations and applications. For my riding style, I use the American Bunny Hop most of the time to get over something. Yes, but there are bikes that are easier to do the Bunny Hop as they are designed mainly for jumping like this the Bomb Sonic Boom. Dot Morton 6 Player, Banshee AMP, and other bike brands. Here are a few things to consider before learning how to bunny hop. Lowering your saddle is a big help. This will give you enough room for your butt and your saddle to play around. Using a flat pedal is recommended also. This will allow you to bail out immediately when something goes wrong. This will also give you the opportunity to learn the proper technique. Safety gears is a must. Wearing your proper gears will spare you from injuries like wearing helmet, shoes, gloves, and knee pads. Open space like parking lot and streets with less people and cars is the ideal place to practice and avoid distractions and obstruction. Filming yourself will give you the opportunity to check your progression. This will also provide you a way to compare yourself to the tutorial and a way to correct your mistake. Learning how to bunny hop is a long process. It took me almost a year to learn the basic of the bunny hop. This technique needs hard work, perseverance, and consistency in order to learn and master. 